I need to fit the uh, gudgeon, which is the sh rudder shoe on the bottom of the skeg that supports the rudder. I need to fit it to the skeg, and I need to make sure, number one, that it's a good tight fit, that it's not too loose and you know sloppy, and second, that the bolt holes that are um, going through to hold the gudgeon onto the skeg are straight and clean and I can actually get a bolt through them. Two years ago we purchased a hurricane damaged boat with the dream of sailing her around the world. Together with our kids we've been learning, laughing, and working to make this dream come true. This is the story of our adventures on a sailboat named Spoon Drifter. So let's take a look at this. So here is our area that it goes on to right there. Probably sand off this black paint because it's got copper in it. And here is the rudder foot right here. So it fits inside of this hole right here. And the rudder pin goes in there that pivots the rudder. And then these holes right here that go straight across are the ones I had to drill out. And I'm going to retap those holes and make sure that uh, it, it actually has a clear path all the way through. Okay, so I got that on. As you can kind of see, I had to kind of had to tap it on, and that's because it is a pretty tight fit. It actually stays on. It doesn't move at all. which is pretty solid, and then I need to just make sure that I can see light through all of those holes like that. I do want to get one of the bolts and make sure that it actually does go through, although I haven't retapped the holes yet, so they won't, they won't actually be able to thread all the way in yet, but I'm going to double check that now. Here are some of the new rudder bolts. So, let's take these down, see how they fit. It's a crazy day here, you can see I'm wearing a jacket. It's actually like 46 degrees. It's a little cool. Good thing I checked that, that's too tight. It's not gonna go in at all. That's pretty tight. You get a big screwdriver because some of these came out and uh, they were actually threaded. What a mess! You know what it is when you're working multiple things. You have three different types of tools in here: roofing tools, boating tools, construction tools, many of which overlap. This is even worse. <laughs> Look at this. Here's a screwdriver. But this one's broken. Looking for my big regular screwdriver. Ah, look, there it is. In the electrical bag. Not supposed to be in the electrical bag, but hey, sometimes they end up in there. So let's see if this works. It does appear to be going through threaded like this. Pretty tight though. And I don't know if it's gonna go all the way through, but I actually need it to start in the threads on the other side that I don't know if they're gonna match with how it's threaded through. So I think I'm gonna have to re-drill these things all the way through. And then use some sealant on them when I put them in to take up any excess space there might be. Like 4200, not 5200, 4200. Something I can remove. I don't want to jump up to the actual uh, drill bit size of the hole. I want to get as close to what the threads actually are as I possibly can. So it looks like point, point 0.36 inches. So let's see what size of drill bit that is. If I want to know how many sixteenths of an inch that is, I'm going to take point 0.36 and I'm going to multiply it by 16. 5.76. 
just under three eighths, it's 0.76 of a sixteenth, which is basically three quarters of a sixteenth. So let's see about 30 seconds. That might uh, actually 64 probably get us closest. So if I go with 0.36 times 64, that is 2364. So let's go see what my drill bit container has here, which I don't think is down here. I don't see it. That means it's probably up on the boat again. Drill bit case. Where is it? Right here. So first of all, twenty three sixty fourths. It literally is one drill bit under three eighths. Let's put you so you guys can see, hopefully. So. It's tough. I don't want to go all the way through because I don't want to drill out the, the gudgeon so I just have to drill out the skeg so I'm gonna go ahead now and pop this skeg off and finish those holes and let's see if a bolt fits through holy cow up and down is a pain up and down is a pain. This one goes all the way through. <laughs> there we go. Still, this guy right here is having some challenges. Sucker is still tight. I got them to go all the way through. Some of them are a little looser than I'd like and some are a little tighter. If you might have seen in one of the previous videos, um, when we pulled this thing off, we discovered that they had actually epoxied the bolts in all the way through with thickened epoxy, which made it just a nightmare to get back off. Now this is a, the rudder is a, a serviceable thing. It's, you should be able to pull it off and service it and work it. And so you don't want it to be permanently installed such that you have to destroy things in order to get it off. When we go back, we're probably gonna go back with 4200 on the shoe and probably fill the holes with 4200 and thread the screws in and let the 4200 fill the space, fill the void up, and set up. And that should keep those screws from moving around too much on any of the ones that are loose, because they're not loose all the way through. They're only loose like at the beginning or at the end. They're all pretty tight in the middle. That's one of the reasons why I had to tap it out was because I said I had to drill these out. So this, this piece is the piece that had been left in the threads that had plugged up the threads that wouldn't come out so retapping the hole push this out and cleaned up all those threads so they work for me again <laughs> crazy huh crazy that one's good i need to do this top one right here it's too long to go through that way so i have to go through from this side right here 
We want to give a big shout out to our amazing patrons who have cheered us on and shared our ups and downs behind the scenes each week. Thank you so much. You guys, yep, slowly kind of crank all in order with each other. And we'll kind of help keep this up here so it'll go into that hole. Okay, okay. go ahead. These are missionaries from our church who came to help us with this job. We were really grateful for their help. All right. Beautiful. Just hang on for a second, guys. This to help it go up in. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, hang on. I'll just kind of push that into your foot. And I'm going to do this. Okay. All right, go a couple more cranks. There we go. Now it's moving easier. Woo! Keep going. Sweet! There it is. Holy cow! Whoop. There it is. Sit down on these blocks right there. You need to pull the rudder over so that it'll go in that hole. Okay. Like that. Okay. The rudder is put back in. Check this out. So I have to cut off um, some bolts that are too long with the angle grinder and clean off a little bit more goop, but I'm gonna do that after it's all dry. And then uh, we'll go from there with these and I think they'll be, I think they'll be good. Thanks for watching to the end guys. Be sure to like, subscribe and all of that jazz. And if you like what we're sharing, consider joining our crew on Patreon. See you next week.